It's now time for another journey to greatness. This week, we focus on a Hall of Fame offensive lineman. Steve Hutchinson was one of the best guards in NFL history, and he was elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2020. His path to Canton began in Florida, where he played at Coral Springs High School. Growing up, my, my dad, my father, he was the one that kind of kind of put in that foundation level in my mind that, you know, football is hard. I kind of got that ingrained in me, that, 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 that kind of give it everything you got, every play type mentality. And it took a while to get that. I, I don't think I... I don't think I got that certainly at the at the Pee Wee level or middle school, Pop Warner level or anything like that. It took a good few years in high school before I realized what that truly meant. Hutchinson played college ball at the University of Michigan, where he would redshirt his first season, but then became a four-year starter. He says the style of play and the quality of coaches in Ann Arbor gave him a great foundation to succeed at the highest level. One of the big reasons I went to Michigan is because that tradition was already there, you know, and that was well known. I was fortunate enough to have great teammates, great coaches, great position coaches that instilled, I mean, it was just technique, technique, technique. And and if you were technically sound on each play, it was hard for you to get beat. And I, I kind of really bought into that because I wasn't the fastest guy in the field. I wasn't the most athletic, um, but I knew I had strong hands and I knew my strength was as good as anybody's I was going to play against. Once I got drafted, and it really didn't matter where I got drafted, it didn't really matter if I was a fourth round pick, a seventh round pick, or a first round pick like I was, I made the decision right then and there, well, if I'm going to do this, I might as well be the best. Hutchinson was a first round pick by the Seattle Seahawks in 2001. In Seattle, he learned a lot from defensive lineman John Randall, who was also in the Hall of Fame and always set the tone in practice. He had one speed, and that speed just didn't show up on Sunday. That speed showed up on a walkthrough on Saturday. That speed showed up on a Wednesday practice. And I think for me, it was like a, a little bit of a, a a little bit of an awakening where I felt like, hey, if I can block this guy in practice consistently, I can do that against anybody on Sunday. Because honestly, John in year 13 and 14 was, I would take John over, you know, just as much as the premier pass rushers inside in the in the league in their prime. Hutchinson played five years with the Seahawks and six with the Minnesota Vikings before spending his last season with the Tennessee Titans. He started in all 169 games he played in the NFL. He made seven Pro Bowls and was a five-time first-team All-Pro. Now that he's forever immortalized in Canton, he reflects fondly on the work he put in to be an all-time great. It was just a culmination of everything. Kind of, It's kind of funny. As soon as that door knocked, I got the, my door was knocked on. It just seems like like you know like you see in the movies like every memory you've had from when you were a kid in high school and college and you know even playing the pop warner football and all through the, the league and all the guys you'd play with it just kind of just in an instant just kind of took you back through that wormhole and and to and realize how far i'd come and it, you know that's what i started out to do i wanted to be the best and when you get that knock you know it kind of it kind of confirms it so it's kind of hard to put into words but uh it, it's definitely a feeling i'll never forget Thanks for visiting the Sports Stars of Tomorrow YouTube channel. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more content.